Welcome back to another video of Daily Hacks. In this video is the first episode of STMHL for Noob. So, yeah, first video. Unfortunately, that I don't working on a video how to set up the two chain and flash tool. But you can do it yourself, I believe. So here I have STMHL 151F3U6. Uh, microcontroller development board from uh, what out here from blkbox.me eBay sellers Chinese eBay seller. You can get a couple of these for about uh, three dollars. And here I have the LED and the color. I just wish I have the LEDs, some of the jumper wire, as well as the ST link. And yeah, just connect this up. This video is about uh, playing with a uh, GPIO pin for you know simple use, uh, push pull mode and oh, just a push pull mode and open drain. Okay, they have some example code for you. You can fork from GitHub or clone it from GitHub. Right now, I put the link down below or on the screen. So here, I just finish this up. Connect ST link. Connect the ground to LED and anode of LED connected to PB4. Okay, let's take a look at the code. Go quick. Includes ATMHL is the part that include all of memory memory register. Delay is you know delay. In this case, I use that one second delay is a one thousand millisecond delay. And I have this variable for LED pin that I will explain later. Here we have void main and CLK CKDIVR is um, a clock divider so we set to 0 by 0 0 we just is divided by the power of 2 uh, no no it's 2 a power of CLK DIVR so just want a maximum 16 megahertz. Next we have a PBDDR this this is a register called a uh, port B direct data register, which is I shift uh, one to the bit four, which is yeah, it mean I want to set bit four at output, but if it's zero, I want to set the bit four uh, bit four or PB four as input. Next, I have a PBCR one, which is I'm gonna show you what to do with this. If I set to one on PB four or PB whatever you want. In this case, I use a port B4. If it's set to 1, it's going to be a push-pull mode. And if it's 0, it's going to be a open drain mode. To be more advanced, you can have a open drain fast and push-pull fast mode. So normal mode, you can get only 2 MHz maximum peak. But if you use fast mode, you can go higher to 10 MHz. Okay, then we jump to while loop. And we have a PBODR stand for port B output data register. So I'm gonna talk link pin using uh, exclusive or operation and delay for 1000 millisecond equivalent to one second. To point out to here a bit for input, it has a PBIDR which is an input data register that you can read and I will cover later on the second episode nearly the in the future so okay the code is oh just close this I just <laughs> forgot to navigate to the folder so you need to be in the folder like this then open the terminal I believe I already opened yeah I already opened just to do it again so just make clean first to make sure everything is clean and then make all so make all is just compiling the code and some tips of this is you can cre create any folder whatever one you call a uh, sum of the folder only one in a library a uh, lib folder and you move unnecessary f uh, library that not included in code put right there before you compile your project or your code it can save space a lot Okay, after make all, then make flash. 
so to do this you need to have a UDEV rule setting for uh, ST-Link if you're not a root user but if you're root user just do this fine just flash oops so if you see this area please check your USB right now I haven't connect yet and I will connect it right now okay so let's flash yeah I can see it's blingy Hmm, it's blinking. If it's not blink, oh, nicey. If it's not blink, you need to check your connection and check if that pin is actually work because some of this board I got from uh, Sailor is not working well. I need to do some leaf reflow or some obsolete joint fixing to get things work like a port D0, but never mind if you can do it or you can uh, go to a computer repair shop and ask them for ask them for help so okay we are done with uh, push pull mode next is uh, open drain mode open drain mode if I if you take a look here at this uh, GPIO block diagram here you have this uh, MOSFET one is hooked up to VCC another one is hooked up to ground the push pull mode is gonna enable both of these pin, both of these uh, P and N MOSFET but for open drain it's gonna be available only this one so basically it act like a, a sync driver Okay, go back to the code so I comment out this part because if I set uh, if I don't set or leave at a CR1 bit as 0 it's gonna be an open drain output okay so let's go back to the code and save it you can use any text editor that you love maybe you will use Vim or Nano but I prefer mousepad because they have nice color as well as they have a line number so again, let's make flash straight because it's gonna recompile for you. Okay, let's take a while. Yeah, I haven't forgot to switch here. Just make flash, save this file, command this out. I'm gonna reconnect everything. So, here, yeah, see, everything is working. Okay, it's flashing you can see so right now the ground of LEDs is now connected to PB4 and the anode of LED is connected to a VCC basically it's just it's just I just use uh, open drain mode okay guys so thank you for watching this video on the next episode I will do about input readings and it's like a push button so stay tuned for next video don't forget to like subscribe and click on the bell button if you like to comment or telling me something comment down below is accepted so thank you guys for watching again goodbye see you soon